The story of Atari is one of great success and amazing failure. It's far too much of one to contain within the review of a video game, but what's important to know is that at some point the original Atari went bankrupt and their name and licenses were bought up by a company named Infogrames. Of course, that immediately led to this new Atari making a ton of games using those licenses. They started off by releasing some collections, ports of the most popular old school Atari games, but eventually they moved on to remakes. In general, I tend to not like the remakes they released. They fix things that didn't necessarily need to be fixed, and they do so in a way that actively makes them worse, and often turns them into a different kind of game entirely. But Pong, the next level, actually manages to improve on the Pong concept, adding things onto it without compromising what makes it so fun. There are definitely levels here and there that completely miss the point, but I'd rather a game take as many shots as this one does and miss a few, than just take one or two, put everything into those shots, and miss completely. So what exactly does the next level do to improve Pong? Now obviously step one is to make it look more modern. Of course, this is a PS1 game, so it could be argued that it looks worse than the original Pong at this point, but it's just cartoonish enough to still hold up despite the PlayStation's lack of graphical prowess. The next step is tweaking mechanics. And for most of the game, the next level manages to layer on new mechanics without resorting to breaking the foundation. Each stage has a different conceit. One might have you in a soccer match with two paddles instead of one, another might add more balls into the mix every time you hit a penguin, but the point is always to get the ball into your opponent's goal. Sometimes, however, the game does break from this. It tries to create these weird mini games using the very basic idea of paddles and a ball. So you might have to try to get the ball into these specific receptacles or deliver a ball to a bunch of seals. It's all very weird and it can be a fun distraction, but it also begins to flirt with the idea of becoming something completely different. But unlike so many of its Atari remake contemporaries, this game never really goes all the way. This isn't Pac-Man or Frogger turning into weird platformers. It's very much still Pong, hitting a ball with some paddles and for the most part, just trying to get it into the other player's goal. Some additions they've made work better than others, but as a complete package, it works remarkably well, even today. There is, however, one rather large caveat for certain versions of this game. I found the PC version, which is pretty hard to get working these days, rather responsive and fun to play, but the PlayStation version takes, at the very least, some serious getting used to. There is a noticeable lag between inputting a command and your paddle moving. And in a game that requires the sort of reaction times that this one does, that can be extremely frustrating. Add to that the fact that the ball would often clip through the paddle, even when it seemed pretty clear that it would bounce off, and you have a game that can be a real nightmare to play at times. Still, I think there's definitely something worth looking at here. It does certainly have its control issues and its responsiveness problems, but if you have the ability to play this on an older PC you have laying around, I would highly recommend that version. But even if you don't, I think it's still worth checking out a few levels or as far as you can get without wanting to destroy your PlayStation if you have the patience to do so because this game is a demonstration of how to remake a game that is as old as video games are. Every Monday, I look at a game that was released at least 10 years ago, what I would consider to be retro, and I see if it's held up today, if it's still worth playing now. If you like that idea, be sure to subscribe so you can see the latest videos. If you like this video in particular, be sure to hit that like button, and thanks for watching.